An IOGP member company offered this well control incident to share their experience and to prevent similar incidents from occurring. This rig was drilling an exploration well in a high pressure gas and condensate reservoir using a managed pressure drilling system, or MPD. MPD systems enable continuous monitoring of annulus conditions and can provide early kick detection. The bit was in the reservoir at approximately 16,500 foot depth, or 5,000 meters, while connections and surveys were made. A pit gain of 16 barrels, or 2.5 cubic meters, was reported from the mudroom, so a dynamic flow check was performed with the MPD system and the well was found to be flowing. A gain of this size should have triggered the crew to shut in the well conventionally, and later shut-in pressure data indicated that the kick was larger than the 16 barrels reported. Let's look at three components of the managed pressure drilling system. The rotating control head allows the system to hold annulus pressure. The auto choke closes to maintain a constant pressure on the formation when the mud pumps are shut off during connections, and the back pressure pump may kick on during connections to help maintain a constant annulus pressure. Please pause here and discuss the differences in shutting in a well when managed pressure drilling equipment is being used. The best answer is that the BOP equipment is still used to shut in the well at any sign of an influx. The crew successfully shut in the well conventionally using the BOP rams and recorded 5800 psi casing pressure or 400 bar with no drill pipe pressure recorded. The shut-in pressure could only have become that high during the incident because the operation of the MPD system allowed a series of influxes during connections and surveys, or the actual pour pressure was higher than estimated. An MPD system must be tuned to the pour pressure and hydraulic pressure profiles and must respond quickly to maintain a bottom hole pressure above the pour pressure. This graphic shows how a slow to respond system can allow repeated flows. This system's choke and back pressure pump operation did not maintain an overbalanced condition. And failing to use the MPD system feedback to update the pour pressure estimate could allow even larger volume flows. Please pause here and discuss how your crew includes well control in the implementation of any new or unfamiliar technology. One answer is that the driller must understand the new technology and must ensure that the rig crew is trained and oriented appropriately for their roles. A specific answer for managed pressure drilling is that the driller must communicate continuously with the MPD operator to monitor the well and must shut in conventionally when a kick is detected. The crew tried to bleed off some of the well pressure through the mud gas separator but expanding gas or the rate of pressure release overcame the liquid hydrostatic pressure and blew the mud leg out. A mud gas separator is not the best equipment for bleeding a high pressure gas influx from the annulus. Please pause here and discuss the principles of a mud gas separator. High pressure equipment with an experienced crew were eventually mobilized to the location and used to lubricate and bleed the casing pressure to zero to regain control. Please take a moment to discuss the details of this incident. On behalf of IOGP, thank you for participating.